Hey there, good people. It's your Cripple Critic, and this week I kind of wanted to shine a light on this game breaking bug I'm encountering in the game Auction Free 2 Lost Signals. Um, I think it's game breaking because it's making me. It's not allowing me to get any further in the game past the first cutscene. Um, if you guys remember, I actually reviewed the first game of this series way back in I think 2016 um, and I really liked it I, I reviewed the PS4 version of the first game um, I could tell that it was definitely trying to be a point and click adventure game and probably better suited on the PC with a mouse so for the second game I decided to get it on Steam um, but I ran into some pretty crazy issues so let me show you what's happening so I begin the game I'm just using a mouse um, my on-screen keyboard is here uh, just in case but you you are supposed to be able to play this game with just a mouse so let me show you it's right after this first scene So, after you do a few dialogue choices... Hello? Anybody here? Am, am I... Is this another... See, she's already moving, and I'm not making her do that. You're supposed to be able to click where she's supposed to go. See, look. Okay. Okay. Seem to change the loop, but let me, let me go this way and see if it... Okay, so from this point on, Riley, the character, is like stuck in a, a loop. So when I try to move to the right, see? Okay. Like, she's fighting it the whole time, you know? So if I click over here... <laughs> she just keeps going in a loop. It's like she's constantly moving to the left for some reason. Wow. So I've, I've, I've sort of been able to force by clicking it a few times really close. Let me see, does that work? I have been able to, maybe it won't let me. Yeah, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna try with the on-screen keyboard. Because I have been able to get to the lighthouse. But that's it. Yep, so if I use the on-screen keyboard, but as soon as I let go, you see it just goes right back. Alright, so let me try this.
Yeah, but forcing it with the on-screen keyboard does seem to help. But as soon as I get to the lighthouse and get to that staircase, well, <laughs> takes forever. A lot longer than it should. Okay, so we get there. H Hello? Is anyone in here? Alright, well, you know then. Okay, so the staircase is as far as I've been able to get to. So go up here. See? And it's just. She'll forever keep going to the left. I try forcing it with the keyboard again. But she still won't go up. Just constantly to the left. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, I made sure to turn off all of my like macros because I do have, sometimes I have the mouse adjusted a certain way with these programs on my computer. I close all those programs. Uh, I close the on-screen keyboard. I tried doing that. I restarted several times and it just keeps doing this. a shame because uh, you know I can't fully review it because of that but I, I can tell that uh, there's some great accessibility otherwise subtitles large text I mean really good uh, very bold large text that's easy to see easy to read alternate text um, and ideally, the game is supposed to be able to play with either a mouse or keyboard, you know, whichever your preference. But, yeah, I haven't really been able to play hardly anything. So, uh, yeah, I have went ahead and uh, I posted about it on the Steam discussion page. And it does seem like there are a lot of other people who are dealing with the same thing on PC. Uh, I also sent in a ticket for the customer support for Night Studio, um, the company, and they have emailed me back. Uh, they sent me a, a page to, or they sent me a link to check out for just announcements, you know, future bug fixes that they're working on, and I did... I didn't see this problem on their list of known issues, so I figured it worth doing a video about just to get um, get the message out there and see if other people are dealing with the same thing and maybe can send their uh, concerns to the company as well. Anyway, uh, hopefully they can get this fixed and, and it'd be great to actually get to play the game. Anyway, if you guys are having the same problem, or if you know of a known fix, let me know in the comment section down below. I, I've only seen maybe one fix that someone said that they had a, a Razer controller. I don't have any controllers plugged up. The whole reason I um, got the PC version of this game is that I wanted to use a mouse, and, and uh, so I don't have a controller, and 
I do have a Razer headset, but I've already unplugged it and tried that. It didn't seem to do anything. So I'm not even sure why having a Razer device would do that. But none of my devices were plugged in, uh, and it's still having the same problem. So until they can fix it, thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you later.